Hey everybody, so today we actually have here, I can't believe we actually have one of these already, but it is the 2020 MacBook Air, and it's in for repair, so you know it's a good time. You can see here, yeah, look at all the reflection off there, that is a cracked screen. So, this one's actually pretty interesting because, it, of course, it's not only just the new 2020 MacBook Air that came out only a few weeks ago, it actually does have the nice keyboard. Actually, speaking of the keyboard, I haven't seen this one yet. So, here. Hear that? That's the old one. And here's the new one. You can hear. Just sound a little bit less muddy. It has a little bit more travel distance. That's always a good thing. So... Yep, okay, it's pretty cool. They look pretty similar, even if you look at the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. Honestly, they almost look... <laughs> you can't really tell the difference besides what it says. Oops. You can't really tell the difference between what it actually just says. It says MacBook Air and then MacBook Pro. This one actually doesn't have a trackpad because I'm working on it right now. And we're seeing if we can fix the trackpad and the keyboard. Now back to this one. This one's interesting because it's a 2020 MacBook Air. And there are no parts for it available right now. So... I believe that the 2018 and 2019 MacBook Air displays are compatible. And the thing is though, this is a different model number than the other MacBook Airs like 2018 and 2019. But the thing is with that, those are the A1932 models. And this one actually is a brand new model and it is the A2179. So I'm really interested to see if this MacBook Air 2020 screen replacement is going to work with the 2018 screen replacement so let's check it out let's open it up and see what's the same and see what's not and this one should just come up kind of like the macbook pros yep just like that pops just like kind of like those 2013 2015 macbook pros so we kind of see what's going on here all right so we can see here it's just it looks very similar to the old one um you can see there is no fin that's correct there is no fin just like the old ones that goes from the heat sink to the fan the fan is just kind of blowing out air over here i'm not really too sure what it's supposed to be doing some people were saying about how it's getting hot while it's not doing anything and i don't have to go into that a lot of people are already talking about that one so let's not worry about that right now um let's just see if even the screen is going to work so again, you want to take out the battery. I want to make sure that's the first thing we do. I believe the battery cable is a board right here, just like the old one. I'm just going off of the memory of what I have from the old one. Board for the battery. So this is just the battery connection here. Real quick before work on it, you don't want to unplug anything again without the battery. And with the battery being plugged in, that's not a great thing. If you want a little bit of leverage, just unscrew these right here. And it'll be easier to take off the battery. And they really like to lopside these screws too. These are really weird screws. So this will give you a little bit more leverage so you can pull out the cable. So I can do that one. So any less risk or anything to make my life easier, I'm definitely for. So there we go. It comes out just like that. Now where you don't have power. Really small screws, very sensitive, of course. Just always be careful if you're doing this. Or if you're just in for the ride, be careful too. So. Yeah, they make this really finicky, really difficult for for no reason really. But it's fine. That's what we're paid to do. Okay, let's take this one out. And this is another cable. That should be the main LCD cable there that goes to the board. All right, so that's free, but we really want to get the antenna free too. So the antenna goes here, so we definitely want to make sure we do that next. So let's do this. You can take this up. So I want to catch the connections. 
It's not a big deal because we're going to replace this anyway, but that's it. This is the whole Wi-Fi antenna. It's it's a little necessary, but hey, you know, it does what, it, what it's going to do. So we'll put that to the side. Now we have the fun time part, and that's just doing the regular um, the regular torque screws that are always fairly famous with MacBook screens, and they actually do a great job. Not a bad job, but a great job. We never really see these hinges go bad, so. I love MacBook Airs. I used to have um, a 2011, 11 inch. I love the 11 inch. You guys have no idea. I love the 11 inch MacBook Air. Um, that was way back then, though. I had the 2011, I think, 11 inch, I believe. Man, I love that thing. There's just a bunch of hooks, just like any other screen. This left one's gonna be a pain. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so when you remove it, it's gonna look like this. Okay, just unhook it. This is kind of what it looks like when it's taken off. It's nice hinges here. And let's compare it to the one I'm going to replace <laughs> it with. Um, okay, here's the board. I'm really just concerned about the board. It looks very similar. Right here's the board. Let's see. This board actually looks pretty similar. I think it's exactly the same, to be honest. Uh, I'm trying to hold this guy, this guy's down. And it's it's a little bit difficult. So let's just put it back. It looks exactly the same here. So I think it's gonna work. But who knows? You know, there is a T2 chip and everything, and it maybe doesn't like this model. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. So, anyways, guys. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about. I do like the air a lot um even repairing it like i liked it when i had it back then before i even was doing repairs i had one i had like a 11 inch one i really liked it i like the 11 inch size you guys i don't know about you guys man but 11 inch laptop is like another level it's just really cool i love this how small it is and it's great to bring if you're like in class or something i had it while i was in school so i brought it to class before oh, i'm just putting this thing on anyway but yeah i had it when i was in class and I like absolutely love to bring it to school and man you want to talk about thin and light Whew, man 11 inch air a 13 inch air I always thought like the palm rest was a little bit too long for it it looks like they just added extra space for the palm rest I don't know why I never liked that so you need to put the cable I mean, you want to put it in the back where it's supposed to be not in the front of the screen because when you close it like this when you bend it over it's not gonna fit and then it's gonna be on the and it's gonna be on the outside so you just want to fit it in here. It should go in just by the clips. Just like that. Um, we definitely want to fold it in a little bit more. So we can get in the bends here. There we go. Because it's already in. You just want to make sure you close it. And maybe you can always screw it. That's always a little nice little trick. You can't always just screw it in. Like earlier than this. But I guess that's good enough now. So it looks like this is actually fitting really well. Um, I definitely want to take the board. I didn't really connect it yet so I don't really know if it's truly form fitting here but let's see it looks like the connections look like it's gonna fit exactly so that's a really good sign so when you do anything else let's just make sure that we can screw it in make sure that it's just nice and even I don't know about you guys but I like going both sides Anyways, yeah um I do like those older MacBook Airs I do know people complain about the screen maybe being lower res but I always liked it um, just for if you're just browsing and stuff like that you're not doing too much to it it's it's really nice it was well at least back in the day it was I mean if you're gonna do serious work it's not really practical but I used to just watch like NBA streams on it and that was perfect for it. it was this 11 inch screen I would just bring it just wherever and like watch a little bit of movies on it um, I like smaller screens for laptops, even tablets too. I don't really like big screen tablets. I like smaller tablets, just more ergonomic. Oh, the the 11 inch Air was always really cool. I, I wish they would kind of go back to. It would be really cool to have a Retina, wouldn't it? It'd be cool to have like a Retina touchscreen 11 inch MacBook Air. Wouldn't that be like the coolest thing ever? I think it'd be really cool. Not the touch bar stuff. I mean, I'm I was never really got it too much into it. I thought if they maybe like made it a little bit more, like intuitive for like everything you do that would be kind of cool the touch bar i mean it's a cool thing always but it's just it just doesn't feel like i want to use it over a trackpad or i want to use it over like my mouse and keyboard so it's kind of good that they are starting to get away a little bit from that um that's a good thing i, I don't think it's it's a really cool thing 
I mean, if they would have maybe worked on it a little bit more, maybe focused on it more. But I mean, it's kind of it was such a they focused on it so much for like that one year. I don't remember which year it was, but they really like were like selling that thing because of a touch bar. And I was like, yeah, it's cool. I mean, it works with like Safari and but is it faster? Is it more like is it a better reason to use a, a, a laptop or a selling point? Not really. It was just a kind of a cool feature. It's there, but it's not really necessary. I don't know. Like, I, I really think, I don't know about you guys, but I guess that's kind of what they're doing. They're going to make, like, the Mac, they're going to make, like, the iPad Pro, make it basically, like, what I want, in a, a small form factor, touchscreen, <laughs> full interface. Um, it looks like they'll probably eventually do that, which is, which would be really cool. If they can replace it, they just need to get those apps down, you know? That'd be cool. If they can ever figure out the iPad OS apps and just make it basically run native, like, um, they do actually, you do get full desktop support on a Safari, I believe, right? It's a desktop version of Safari they have on the iPad Pro, which is awesome. Very welcome to. But yeah, like, um, it would be cool if they did that. And I guess, again, like, they're really just going to go forward with that one anyway. So looks like they'll just use the iPad Pro is the new small MacBook Air. So pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm interested. I do appreciate them still pushing the MacBook Air line. Um, it's great that they gave this the Retina screen. You know, a few years ago, I'm really glad they updated that thing. Um, it's just a shame. Again, I, I like the the smaller ones. So, I mean, 13 inches still actually looks really nice. So, the compact 13 inch Airs look really nice. I feel that that felt pretty good. Actually, you know, I should plug this in first. The very, very tiny, tiny, tiny screw. It's so cute. Look at the screw. These screws, man, they make them on these screens. They make them so tiny. All right, and I got one more. All right, I don't want to fully close this because I'm not sure if this is going to work anyway. But it should. So let's try to turn it on. Wow. All right. Let's bend it a few times. Make sure... Bend it up a few times. All right, looks good. I can't. You can't even tell half the time if it's on or not. Usually, the first time you turn on some of these MacBooks, you have to actually have like a a power cable. It just requires, for some reason, I don't know. Let's get a USB-C cable. I didn't know the fan's supposed to come on. It doesn't even tell you. Okay, the fan came on, which is great, and there's an app logo. Oh, right. You guys, we figured it out. Ooh, I'm going to do it halfway. Do you guys not like when I do this? Or should I do it, like, all the way? Use an external. Oh, it doesn't like the external. Okay, so yeah, for some people, it doesn't, like, their security settings are, like, an encryption on it or something. I don't know, for some reason you can't boot to other ones, so I wish I could show you guys a little bit more, but now you can see what this says, and it says, here you guys, you guys can read it, what it says, security settings, yeah, security settings do not allow this Mac to use an external startup disk, so, that's boohoo for me, so, I mean, I guess we can talk about it a little bit instead Let's just shut it down. And the moment you guys were all waiting for. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> no, no, it's not the moment. All right. Okay. This, you guys just like this stuff, right? I need to turn up the, oh, look, it turned on. Huh. But you can see it totally fits perfectly. Like absolutely perfect. This is a 2018, 2019 screen. So it's A1932 on a 2020. So we need to thank them. So everyone, we need to thank Apple for allowing 
one screen for three years now we can use that screen the 2018 2019 2020 for the same model yes we can do it and again you know with the t2 chip and everything we're always worried about stuff not working but fortunately for this one we do get the 2018 2019 screen did work i'm really happy i'm really glad it worked but yeah so this worked out i'm really happy that this worked out really well i'm very very fortunate that this did so we're really happy this is really cool you know we do a lot of things on this channel now we're just really trying new stuff and seeing what we can do it's great that if you ever saw other videos about the ultrasonic is actually fixing the keyboard issues that go on with the older macbook pro models that actually did work and we were able to fix it with that of course it was liquid spill but it did fix it so that's a really cool way to make it work we're able to actually do that um we're able to figure out about the screen replacements for them you know this is fun we, we love doing this this is fun stuff so it's it's really cool to see it actually work you know and when you're not too sure anyway anyways guys thanks a lot for watching if you did enjoy this video please leave a like it really does help other people see this content as well um youtube likes to share the content more if, if you're interactive for a video it really does help um other people see this video as well because youtube does like interactivity does like activity whether you like it or you share or you comment or any of that stuff so that does really help um guys thanks a lot for watching I really hope you enjoyed and found this a little bit educational and you enjoy my little rants as well sometimes i do go off a little bit sometimes even off topic but I do like to talk to you guys. It's really fun, and I just really like doing what I do. So thanks for letting me do that, and we're going to try to keep growing the channel and see how far it goes. I also want to do more reviews and talking points for you guys. So anything we find out of the tech world, we're just going to try to announce it and talk to you about it. Um, if you have any other things you want us to review or talk about, you can always leave a comment, and uh, we can see if we ever get to that one. So um, thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed.